hi so here today we have a session for your vmx technology so in this session we will just study the basic introduction to your vmx technology so what does this term vmx refer to vmx here refers to worldwide interoperability for your microwave axis Vimax refers to worldwide interoperability for microwave access. So your Vimax is basically a wireless standard communication technique which is used to provide the higher data services, higher data rates with increased coverage also. So basically Vimax is an broadband wireless access so this broadband wireless access basically refers that this is a, a wireless method of accessing the internet here we have other uh, wireless uh, communication techniques here but this is here supposed to deliver the data services or the data rates which this technology will be providing here is with the increased speed and distance. So this technology here Vimex falls under the category of is under the fourth generation of your technologies. It has some improved features uh, if we will compare it with the now, existing communication, wireless communication standards here. So, Vimax is your wireless technique that means it's a metropolitan area network technique. That means it is used to provide data services or the data to a higher coverage area as compared to the existing techniques like your Wi-Fi. So this is a wireless communication standard techniques which according to the practical uh, standards is supposed to deliver the data rates up to 70 Mbps. Because the fastest of your Wi-Fi technology can deliver the data rates with a speed of your 54 Mbps. So this is here supposed to deliver it with the 70 mps and covering an increased range now we have another wireless techniques also here like we have your wi-fi which is your wireless fidelity now wi-fi is your wireless local area network so that means it is used to uh, provide the services within a limited range or we can just precisely say that the coverage of Wi-Fi is limited up to several meters here. No doubt Wi-Fi is like deployed in uh, various enterprises, organizations, uh, university campuses, hospitals, etc. So they have just cover range up to your 150 meters now if you want to increase the connectivity uh, using your wi-fi technology what you have to do is you have to place more routers there like after this 150 meters you have to place again a router so that it is maintaining the connectivity with your wireless local area network so the main difference here between your wiremax and wi-fi is for you distance because this your uh, Vimax can cover an area up to certain kilometers if it can cover 10 kilometers and it is only restricted here to 150 meters so the basic difference between these two technologies is for your distance 
So this Biomax technology here is designed so that it can provide these data services to certain customers and enterprises in an economical manner. Now, there are certain ways in which you can access the internet. So if we like discuss the ways to uh, access here the internet, for example, you have you can have the broadband access. Now this broadband access basically uses your digital subscriber lines like your T1, T3 lines, your DSL lines. Next is your Wi-Fi or we have dial-up connections. Now, from all of these, we are moving towards a new technology which can serve better than the existing technologies. High speed more coverage and moreover, this is your wireless access of the internet over this broad coverage so that's how again if we just look at the concept of wi-fi this doesn't include a broad coverage now that's the access also here is wireless but the coverage here is not broad so how does wimax basically evolved the technical specification for your Biomax standard is your wireless technique is IEEE 802.16. Our scientific name or technical specification for this wireless technique is IEEE 802.16. Now, IEEE is, is basically the Institute of Electrical Electronics Engineers. So, this society here in 1999. They just was uh, the society here was just uh, set up to study the various various this wireless broadband techniques here. So it was a project eight zero two, which was started by the Computer Association here for the standardization of these wireless networks. So we have certain kind of uh, wireless networks here also like. IEEE 802.1 it was for your bridging networks then IEEE 802.3 for your Ethernet IEEE 802.11 is for your Wi-Fi. Now, this was also the technical specification for your Wi-Fi. Then a Wi-Fi alliance was created which standardized this family of IEEE as Wi-Fi technique. So similarly we have IEEE 802.16. So for the commercial standardization of this family, a Biomax forum was created. Now, according to this Vimax forum, the certain standards for this technique was set. Like earlier we covered the which distance it should cover and what are the peak services that it should deliver. So this organization, this is also an, a central organization here for the wireless networking techniques which work only for the commercial standardization for you. IEEE 02.16. Now, we have a series of this technique also here. Now, in 1999, this was formed here. So, for the first basic network standard which evolved was your IEEE 802.16. So, it was for your 
line of sight link and it operated for the frequency range of 10 to 16 gigahertz but after that the researchers focused here on the another operating frequency which was for your 10 to 11 gigahertz because what happens here for wireless access of data for example if you have a look on your uh, wi-fi systems also so what happens is that the user always is mostly in uh, this scenario a non-line of sight so that's why they more focused on this operating frequency of your uh, vimax also so this was your ieee 802.168 in which the operating frequency range was your 2 to 11 gigahertz and this was for your non-line of sight operation so we can say that the user always is scattered here so they functioned on this operational range for your bimax then we have another standards also here like your ieee 802.16b which has the functional range of uh, your 5 to 6 gigahertz then IEEE 802.16c IEEE 802.16d so we are just going here to study about your the standard which is for your fixed wireless access system so this also has an operating range for 2 to 11 gigahertz then the evolved standard here is also 802.16e with the same operating range of your 2 to 11 gigahertz but this is here for your mobile systems this is here for your fixed wireless access system and this IEEE 802.1.6e here is for your mobile broadband wireless access here. So this is the technical specification and then Biomax forum was created here for the commercial standardization of your wireless network which is your Biomax now. Now, let's have a look on the technical specifications of your Vimex. So, we have list of certain specifications here. Then we have our 802.16D, which is your fixed access. Then 802.16E, which is your mobile access. So, first one is your bandwidth in megahertz. So, for the fixed system, this is from 1.75 to 20 megahertz and 1.25 here to 20. Now, this is your bona fide interoperability for microwave access. Microwave access because this is the operating frequency here is in gigahertz. Now, this has 2 to 11 and this is 2 to 6 gigahertz for your mobile access. Next, we have the specification as mobility. This is fixed, but it can support roaming and this A02.16e is mobile but with a middle mobility rate for your 
mobile stations. Next we have the transmission technology here. So the transmission technology here is your multi-carrier over DM for both of these. Orthogonal frequency division, multiple axis. Next we have this is a transmission technology or your access method here for your biomix system. Now next uh, specification here for your biomix is spectrum assignment unit. So that is basically uh, same here which is your sub channelization. So bandwidth, operating frequency, mobility for both of these, then the transmission technology and then the spectrum assignment unit which is a sub-channelization. Now the next specification here is your modes. It has both DDD and FDD mode here. Time division duplexing and frequency division duplexing mode. Next is your peak rate. So for fixed, it is 75 Mbps and for your mobile, it has either 5 or with improved circumstances are up to 30 mbps now next we have the modulation techniques here now for downlink thank you it supports bpsk here 16 quam and 64 gram here specifically for your mobile access. Now, what are the enhanced techniques here for your Vimax? So, the enhanced uh, techniques here is basically your intelligent antenna systems, which is your MIMO systems, and it supports also the new technique. Hybrid automatic request. So these are some of the another specifications here for a VMAX system here. And VMAX also here supports five service classes for your quality of services. Another specification is like battery saving mode. So it doesn't support basically your battery saving mode, but for uh, this mobile access system, it supports idle and sleep mode idle and sleep mode so these are the technical specifications for your VMAX uh, technology here so just to summarize this session again we can say that VMAX which is your worldwide interoperability for microwave access it's a wireless communication standard which is used to deliver or which is used to provide the data rates up to 30 to 40 Mbps practically and to cover an increased area if we compare it with your Wi-Fi technology. So the basic difference between your Wi-Fi and your Vimex technology here is the distance. Your Wi-Fi is limited up to certain meters, but your Vimex technology here can cover a broad area. So this is just the introduction to your Vimex technology. In our next session, we will be studying about some of the uh, features and like this spectrum allocation here for your Vimex technology. So this is all for today's session. Thank you.